I just turned 25, and to help me determine what I want for the next 10 years of my life, I asked a few people who I admire to write letters to their younger selves to learn from them. This is how that went. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends over at FX Pesa. Whether you are a beginner in trading or you are an expert trader, FX Pesa offers you easy access to a trading account 24-7 straight from your device that you do not miss out on any trading opportunities. Click the link down below in the description bar to find out more about FX Pesa and to sign up for a live account. You can also open a demo account which allows you to practice for free. Now back to the podcast. Hey guys and welcome to A Letter to My Younger Self podcast that encourages you to work hard, have good intentions, and most importantly, to trust the process. Now, I'm not sure how these episodes are going to roll out, but by now I have read quite a few letters. And one thing that I've noted is a lot of people concentrate on like their careers, which I mean is understandable because we're really a generation that is obsessed with securing the bag. Now, today's guest is an award-winning journalist. His name is John Alanamu. And being an award-winning journalist, I personally expected him to really concentrate on his career and take us through, you know, being an award-winning journalist. But he went through a different route that I personally quite enjoyed. So today we're going to be hearing about John Allen's personal life and decisions and choices that he made along his journey to get to where he is today. Welcome, John. Thank you. I didn't know that you enjoyed the letter. I didn't I know really, that guys were focusing on the <laughs> I did. I did. Ah. Um, but the one thing is that the first thing when I got the letter, I was actually, I read it like three times or, really? or four before I could analyze it and understand it. So I'm just curious to know, is this how you speak to yourself? What? In parables, <laughs> in puzzles, <laughs> when you're talking to yourself in your head? <laughs> well, um... Yes, but yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 many times when I when I try and express myself, uh, uh, like a, a, an expression, like a saying mm-hmm. that helps me sort of um, make sense of what I'm trying to say, will, will pop into my head. Maybe one will come in the course of this conversation, yeah. but it's not a tea. Um, like I have chinua achebe in, <laughs> <laughs> in in my head. It's I don't know. I, I guess it's just a way of of trying to explain things to myself and to mm-hmm. other people that just makes it easier so that's why it was difficult you know, yeah like, the it's like a composition i was like wow <laughs> wow 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 you know how they used to ask the uh, curtains are blue explain why the writer said the curtains are blue <laughs> <laughs> in my head i'm like the curtains are just blue why is there a reason the curtains are blue so yeah exactly yeah. like that so you can go ahead and read the letter to us i have right. so many questions to ask so i'm reading the entire letter yes please Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's 2007. You're now 24. This is a big year for you. No longer the intern at the office. You have paid a few of your dues at work, and now you are more or less ready for bigger things. You won't see it, but the confluence of your coming of age as a young reporter and the events you'll witness aren't just coincidence. God planned it that way. But you're young. So you overestimate just how much you have to do with and where you are at that point. That's a mistake you don't need to make. Living on your own now, you don't need to go to church. Mom isn't there to tell you to do so. Um, The freedom, this freedom means that you can have, that you can have, that you can have work during the day and drinks and a wild night after. Interestingly, all the freedoms you yearn for are exactly the ones that you must be temperate with now. Work will keep you out of harm's way for the most part, thank God. But again, that is you thinking that you have more to do with you not keeping the company that your freedom would allow you to. I can get why you were were talking (laughs) about that. That's a sentence and a half. I don't know. I thought about it differently in my head. Um, I hope you're getting the picture now. Everything that has fallen into place has more to do with the path you are destined to take over the next few years than your efforts in deliberately choosing to be on that path. So this letter isn't about the quickest way up the rung. It's about being intentional. Read this letter carefully. 37-year-old you is given to analogies and parables, (laughs) but you're good at reading between the lines, so I know you'll get it. Do I keep going? Yeah. Okay. The thing about being 24 is now you is that you now feel a sense of completeness that you hadn't before. 
School is done, work's going fine, and your relationship is flourishing. No time to pay attention to those un untended corners of your life. Big moves need to be made, right? The unction you feel to succeed is important. It'll drive you to do things you never thought you could. But it is more than okay to take a step back and examine the entire picture that you're painting. Better yet, think of yourself as a brand new jigsaw puzzle whose pieces are sealed inside a box. On the box, what people see is a picture of a complete jigsaw puzzle. The better looking, the more intricate it is, the more interesting it is for people to look at, um, um, the more interesting it is to, to people looking at this box. Don't be one of those people examining yourself as complete. What you're seeing is a picture of what you think you can become. You haven't yet opened a box. When you do, you'll find hundreds of pieces. The ones that connect to work will be the brightest, biggest, and easiest pieces, pieces to fit together. So the temptation is to start fitting them together first. <clears throat> They'll all connect, so then you'll feel a sense of achievement, of progress. What you should be doing is rather than going for the big pieces of the puzzle, spread every piece out in front of you. Take your time to examine each piece. Try to figure out what parts generally go together. Work, the dunda, even your relationship can wait. Your faith, for instance, will be in the shape of those complex looking pieces that seem not to fit into anything. But when, but when not put together, will leave a huge hole in the jigsaw. I just have to say, there's, <laughs> there's a huge amount of jigsaw analogies here that yeah. I just need to explain. Okay. I was writing this letter at a time when I was thinking of a present for one of my kids. Uh, and jigsaw puzzles were that. How so old was, is the child? Child or children? The uh, one who was getting the puzzle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was, um, so I, I wrote this, I wrote this uh, mid last year. Yeah. Yeah, so he was, he was turning 11. Oh. And he was turning 11. And, and it was a big birthday for him because um, that, that's the year that we decided with my wife that we're going to be like giving the talk. Mm. you know, um, about various things that you're going to expect when going out. So we went out to Naivasha, we had a good time, and and I guess we were thinking about this entire thing. I didn't. I wound up not giving him a jigsaw puzzle, <laughs> so all of this is just wasted. Yeah. But but anyway, <laughs> you know, um, sana, uh, Wabosha. All right, now where was I? Jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Before we continue, I'd like to say a big, big thank you for all the support that you have shown myself and this podcast so far. If you'd like to support this podcast even more, you can do so by purchasing one of your favorite A Letter to My Younger Self merch. We have journals, and these journals have quotes as well as thought-provoking questions that will be able to guide you in your own personal journey. We also have mugs that look like this. We also have bags, webcam covers, and a lot, lot more. What I will do is I will leave a link down below in the description box where you can go and check this out for yourselves. Now back to the podcast. All right. Work, the dunda, even your relationship can wait. Your faith, for instance, will be in the shape of those complex looking pieces that seem not to fit into anything, but when not put together will leave a huge hole in a jigsaw. Those parts take time to understand. I meant to say, those parts take time. Understand those pieces. Their shapes, edges, and nooks are difficult to decipher. Take your time with those. Ask for help if you can't figure them out on your own. Do not ignore these pieces, because they don't just fall into one place once everything else fits. It's actually the other way around. I can almost forgive you for believing that you can ignore this part of your life. I only just rediscovered these pieces. Make sure that they fit together right side up, even if it takes you a while. It'll be worth it. It'll certainly make things a hell of a lot easier for me. Then, there are your values. Also worth taking time to understand. That freedom I had mentioned is important here. Use the freedom to truly show who you are. No one is looking, so now is the time to truthfully ask yourself, why is it that you want to party? To hang out with your very cool friends and be at the best parties. To be about that life. 
the hype tells you that you're young and this is what you're supposed to be doing now, but do everything in moderation. Those Sunday drives on your own, away from your housemates that you derive so much pleasure from, are trying to tell you something. Learn to be with yourself, interested in listening to what your heart and your conscience whisper to you in these moments of solitude. Don't drown your thoughts out with the noise that a young bachelor's life brings. Learn how to tune out the noise and hone into your own thoughts about yourself. What do you stand for? What's your story? Are you the man your parents raised? The friendships you will make now will remain for a while longer. These are also pieces of your puzzle. The pieces that you need are very few. But you think that there must be more than one. There must be more than the ones you have identified. Your friends are a reflection of you, so choose how these pieces fit into the bigger story. Your friendships will connect to your romantic relationships. Make sure that they feed into that picture in a way that works for who you're trying to become. Two years from now, you'll become a father. Now, when I was 24, mm -hmm. I had absolutely no idea. So it's weird that, that um, I wrote that down because, hey man, my life was so different at 24 than it was at 25 and 26. These pieces connect inextricably to your romantic life. Do not be afraid to take your time and be more decisive about who you choose to love. The answer is closer than you think, but it's obscured by your own thoughts about what the puzzle is supposed to look like. Do this without care and you'll have to rip up huge parts of the puzzle. Completely needless if you act with more than the intention in your pants. Temperance means that even if you have a hammer, you don't always need to use it. Is that an expression that's easier to decipher? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> is. <laughs> Don't be blinkered by what you saw on the cover on, of the pu puzzle box. That's just a picture. This is just your idea of what you think you should be, separate from who you actually are. Looking for the approval of others distracts you from focusing on yourself. You don't need to contort yourself into the image and likeness of those who have succeeded before you. Learn lessons from, from them, for sure. But remember that these lessons need to be adapted to the life you have always wanted to leave, lead. You know what that is, so I don't need to remind you. Your life, especially your romantic life, need not be what people expect it to be. There's more joy in following your heart to the person that it, that it leads you to than you will ever know. I'm not worried about this part though. Eventually, you do get the girl of your dreams. Find the time to be with your family. Do not take for granted that because you grew up with them, they will always be the people that live in your memories. Every one of the members of your family has a journey that they are on. Check in with them, walk with them. Cultivating that habit will serve you when you get a family of your own. You are so much more than your career. Your own story is important. Don't let the world tell you that because your experiences are not those you have that haven't been written about, they are not worth repeating. At the very least, your story is the nucleus of the legacy you wish to leave when you pass away from this world. Cherish every single step that you have taken. Feel all of the pain that you have hidden so well. Don't be so long-suffering, especially when people use your kindness and compassion to their advantage. You speak so loudly for others. Learn to speak up for yourself. It may make you unpopular in the moment, but at least people will know where you stand. Some of the things you are reading here, you already know. Have the courage to go beyond the bowlines of knowledge alone. Act on what you know. Live your life unencumbered by fear. I'll be here waiting for you. Wow. You can catch all the other episodes by visiting the website listed in the description bar. There, you will find my conversations with my other guests, Shimano, Eli Mwenda, Safia Abdi, Winnie Okot, Karun, Foy Wamboy and Wandia Gishuru. Each guest shares a letter to their younger self, why those moments were impactful in their lives, the lessons they learned, and the vision they have for their future self. Click the link in the description bar to support this podcast and watch season one of A Letter to My Younger Self.